Hello friends, we're gonna make a video today in the Clips app that has closed captioning built in so that you can share it with students and they will have that captioning feature available for maybe a, a visual impairment or even just an extra support for all learners. So we're gonna go into Clips. You can search for it or find it in the App Store and install it. It's a free app from Apple. Now, when you open up Clips, it's right away got your camera front facing, it's ready to record. Um, if for some reason you have a, um, several projects already saved, then you'll wanna tap in the top left and you can see those different projects along the top and you would create a new one with the blank plus. Um, but if not, you are ready to record. We just need to turn on the live titles. So if you look below my face down here, there is a, a speech bubble button. And when you turn that on, you get different styles for those captions. It's basically just the font and the color. Um, let's go ahead and, and choose one that runs across the bottom of the screen and it kind of um, highlights word by word. And then once that's on, I can actually X out of the option and now it is going to pick up my voice as I record. So in clips, you do have to hold the record button the entire time or lock it in recording. You can't just tap that big red button and start it and stop it like we would with um, a typical um, camera app. So I'm going to um, press and hold and slide up so that it's going to record the entire time. Now you'll notice that the live titles on the screen, they come a minute or so or a second or so after I say them, but that's fine um, because when we play it back, it should be in sync. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my recording now. And then if I tap on my clip that I just captured down at the bottom of the screen there, I can actually edit the live titles with the little edit button. And you can actually scroll through that text um, you can add in end punctuation. Um, there you go. You can fix anything up you want to. You can put an end punctuation. You can double click on a word and change the spelling of it. I was trying to find a misspelled word here and I don't see one necessarily um, um, without looking at it too in depth, but that's okay for the purposes of this video. And then once you do that, they are embedded in the playback. Plus also you will notice with that, if you you go back in and you go to those live titles, that those underlines are actually, they're syncing it with the time of the recording. So um, if you did put in another word, it would not have that underline underneath of it and it wouldn't know, you know when to tie it to the actual video. It's okay if you do that, but um, you wanna leave the underlines there for the purposes of keeping it up with the time that you set it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say done now. And my last step in recording this um, clips video is just to use the share arrow in the bottom right hand corner. <coughs> and here I can go ahead and save my video. <coughs> it's gonna save it to my camera roll so that I can from there, you know, share it with my students however I want. I can just go into my photos and it's in my recents there and I can put that on canvas. Um, you can see how the words are highlighting in yellow at the same time that I said them on the video. Pretty slick and easy. Um, there's a lot of other fun things you can do with Clips app as well. You can put some title slides on there and kind of um, make it really fun, add stickers and things like that. But for the purposes of captioning, I think it's your best easy route of getting those titles across the bottom. So there you go.